The issue of plastic is affects everybody, but the youth are the absolute key. This is their world that they're going to inherit, which is like a plastic soup. We wanted to look at all the sort of toxic chemicals within this plastic and how it's impacting on our health as well as the environment, in particular women's health uh, and pot potentially the next generation's health like in terms of babies and children and really um, sort of raise awareness about this issue as well but as well as putting pressure on the manufacturers to remove these harmful chemicals. We work on local level very practical projects giving people um, practical ideas to cut out plastic as well as live in environmentally. Um, we're working um, on a green baby project and so we're hoping to launch that and that's looking at the, the plastic and all the harmful chemicals uh, in baby products that can be sort of skin care, toys, furnishings, clothes, um, disposable nappies and we want to give people real alternatives that you don't have to be living this plastic laden life and actually a plastic free life is a better one. For me, because I worked a lot on the health aspect of when it was always looking at the issues, the connections between women, health and the environment. Um, and there's not many uh, organisations or indeed people working, um, looking at uh, women, health and environment. Um, initially, uh, Wen did quite a lot of work on um, menstrual products and uh, looking at how they were bleached. Um, so there's quite a lot of chemicals added and sometimes depending on the different types of plastic um, there can be up to 80% additives that is you know that's just separate from the plastic itself if you like. Um, some of them are things like phthalates which are endocrine disrupting chemicals, um, bisphenol A, BPA. If you think about the wide variety of plastics that are available from things like cling film or um, um, contact lenses to hard plastic um, bottles. EDCs stands for endocrine disrupting chemicals and they're the chemicals that interfere with our hormone system and the sorts of impact they can have are um, on things such as obesity and diabetes and um, to crucial times of development such as you know when the the baby's brain is developing within the womb, um, also hormone related cancer such as breast cancer or prostate cancer. The thing to really be aware of is they are absolutely in everything. They're in lots and lots of everyday products unfortunately that we come across in our home. So they're in plastic packaging, they're in toys, um, they're in our furnishings, carpets, electronic equipment and so we are being exposed to the endocrine disrupting chemicals um, from multiple sources every single day of our lives. All these have different kind of health impacts um, and unfortunately they don't actually just stay in the plastic, um, they can leach out over time um, uh, or over wear and also when they're disposed of in, in landfill size but particularly in, uh, in water um, they tend to leach out into, um, the, into our environment. Levels of these additives have been found, not only have they been found in soil, water and, and the air but also um, levels of these additives have been detected in uh, breast milk, uh, in urine and, and in blood as well. As a family, we're trying to shop more at markets and other shops which use less, less packaging. The main things I've been trying to do is no longer to keep food in sort of plastic wrapping. So, you know, if I come home from a shop, um, immediately try and store it in something that's glass or metal because you're removing the fact that um, those chemicals in the plastics are leaching into the food. So, if you go into the shops, you'll see baby wipes, disposable baby wipes everywhere. And not only are they laden with chemicals, they're also expensive and they also just don't work that well. And they're also clogging up drains and pipes all over the world. I would recommend starting cloth wipes. So they're basically just flannels and they're such an easy swap to make and so cheap. And you can even make them yourselves out of an old blanket or piece of clothing. So for me, like starting to switch out disposable wipes and bring in cloth reusable wipes is a really nice place to start. 
is down to the government to, to approach um, large companies and corporations and supermarkets, but also local councils. Um, and councils could get in touch with local charities such as Women's Environmental Network or, or our charity, um, Women's Health and Family Services, to sort of spread the word about alternatives to plastic. So many people that want to see action taken on this. It's a chance of us, you know, working together as governments, as industry, as consumers and as NGOs to come up with the solutions around the harder and the trickier stuff. And I think that's within our gift. You know, humans, we can be incredibly innovative. If we want to solve the solution, we'll solve it. So I think we just all need to get together and say that's what we're going to aim for.